BrainWise presents Grade 5, Science Quiz B, Part 2 Welcome, science adventurers! Get ready for a quiz that will take you on a journey through the wonders of science. Let the fun begin! Number 1. What is a mixture? Again, what is a mixture? The choices are A. A single pure substance B. A chemical reaction C. A combination of substances that keep their own properties D. A new substance formed by heating The correct answer is C. A combination of substances that keep their own properties. Number 2. What does heterogeneous mean? Again, what does heterogeneous mean? The choices are A. Evenly mixed B. Unevenly mixed C. Dissolved D. Boiled Answer B. Unevenly mixed The correct answer is B. Unevenly mixed. Number 3. If you mix sand and water, what kind of mixture do you get? Again, if you mix sand and water, what kind of mixture do you get? The choices are A. Solution B. Homogeneous mixture C. Heterogeneous mixture D. Chemical compound The correct answer is C. Heterogeneous mixture Number 4. Which of these is not a mixture? Again, which of these is not a mixture? The choices are A. Pizza B. Air C. Pure water D. Soil Answer C. Pure water The correct answer is C. Pure water. Number 5. What is a solution? Again, what is a solution? The choices are A. A mixture where one substance dissolves in another. B. A mixture that can be filtered. C. A mixture of solids. D. A mixture that boils. The correct answer is A. A mixture where one substance dissolves in another. Number 6. What happens when you stir sugar in water? Again, what happens when you stir sugar in water? The choices are A. The sugar evaporates B. The sugar dissolves C. The sugar freezes D. The sugar melts The correct answer is B. The sugar dissolves. You're on fire! You've tackled some tough questions already! Now, let's keep the momentum going! Get ready for the next set of brain teasers! Number 7. What is a concentrated solution? Again, what is a concentrated solution? The choices are A. A solution with very little solute B. A solution with a lot of solute C. A solution that is frozen D. A solution that is boiled The correct answer is B. A solution with a lot of solute Number 8 why does salt disappear when you mix it with water? Again, why does salt disappear when you mix it with water? The choices are A. It evaporates B. It dissolves C. It melts D. It freezes
The correct answer is B. It dissolves. Number 9. What is filtration? Again, what is filtration? The choices are A. Separating a solid from a liquid using a filter B. Separating liquids by boiling C. Separating metals with a magnet D. Separating mixtures by hand The correct answer is A. Separating a solid from a liquid using a filter. Number 10. What is distillation? Again, what is distillation? The choices are A. Separating a solid from a liquid using a filter. B. Separating liquids by boiling and condensing. C. Separating metals with a magnet. D. Separating mixtures by hand. The correct answer is B. Separating liquids by boiling and condensing. Number 11. What tool do you need for filtration? Again, what tool do you need for filtration? The choices are A. Magnet B. Filter paper C. Heat source D. Stirring rod The correct answer is D. Stirring rod. Number 12. If you have a mixture of sand, salt, and water, which method would you use first to separate the sand? Again, if you have a mixture of sand, salt, and water, which method would you use first to separate the sand? The choices are A. Evaporation B. Magnetism C. Filtration D. Distillation The correct answer is C. Filtration Number 13. Why is milk considered a colloid? Again, why is milk considered a colloid? The choices are A. Its particles settle out upon standing B. It has a uniform composition throughout C. Its particles are too small to be seen with the naked eye but large enough to scatter light D. It is a pure substance The correct answer is C. Its particles are too small to be seen with the naked eye, but large enough to scatter light. Number 14. What is the Tyndall effect? Again, what is the Tyndall effect? The choices are A. The scattering of light by particles in a colloid or suspension. B. The dissolving of a solute in a solvent. C. The separation of a mixture by filtration. D. The change in color of a solution when heated. The correct answer is A. The scattering of light by particles in a colloid or suspension. Almost at the finish line! Just a few more questions to go! Stay focused and use all your science knowledge! You're so close! Number 15. What is a saturated solution? Again, what is a saturated solution? The choices are A. A solution that can dissolve more solute at a given temperature B. A solution that cannot dissolve any more solute at a given temperature C. The solution that is very dilute D. The solution that is very concentrated The correct answer is B. A solution that cannot dissolve any more solute at a given temperature. Number 16. What is the principle behind chromatography? Again, 
What is the principle behind chromatography? The choices are A. Different substances have different densities B. Different substances have different boiling points C. Different substances have different affinities for the stationary and mobile phases D. Different substances have different magnetic properties The correct answer is C. Different substances have different affinities for the stationary and mobile phases. Number 17. Why is it important to understand the properties of mixtures and solutions in everyday life? Again, why is it important to understand the properties of mixtures and solutions in everyday life? The choices are A. To make informed decisions about the products we use and consume. B. To understand how to cook different dishes. C. To understand how to fix appliances. D. To understand how to drive a car. The correct answer is A. To make informed decisions about the products we use and consume. Number 18. How is filtration used in water treatment plants? Again, how is filtration used in water treatment plants? The choices are A. To remove dissolved minerals from water B. To remove solid impurities from water C. To kill bacteria in water D. To add chlorine to water The correct answer is B. To remove solid impurities from water. Number 19. How is distillation used in the production of gasoline? Again, how is distillation used in the production of gasoline? The choices are A. To separate crude oil into different fractions based on their boiling points. B. To remove impurities from crude oil. C. To convert crude oil into gasoline. D. To transport crude oil. The correct answer is A. To separate crude oil into different fractions based on their boiling points. Number 20. What is an alloy? Again, what is an alloy? The choices are A. A pure metal. B. A mixture of metals. C. A non-metal. D. A compound. The correct answer is B, a mixture of metals. Congratulations, science wizards! You've completed the quiz! You're officially a science expert! Keep exploring and learning! Like this quiz, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more exciting science challenges! Don't miss our next science quiz! See you soon! Brilliant work! Tell us your score and see how others did. Check out other videos from BrainWise.